Your eyes aren't deceiving you, and these bits of plastic aren't tumbling around because of camera tricks either. Their flips, turns, and leaps are caused by the moist surface that they dance upon. Have you ever played with a fortune teller fish? They work in almost the same way, although manufacturers won't tell you that. These red sheets of plastic allegedly predict your personality by how they react when placed in your palm. Does the head curl up? You're jealous. Do the sides curl up? You're fickle. The long polymer strands inside the fish absorb moisture from your hand, causing the plastic to deform. With that concept in mind, researchers at MIT, led by Bob Langer, have designed a new material that vigorously flips and curls in response to water vapor. Instead of the everyday plastics in the fish, Langer's tumblers are a composite of a rigid polyperol matrix and a soft polyol borate gel. When water molecules get absorbed, bonding inside the structure changes and the material swells. The side of the polymer sheet that's in contact with the water-coated surface absorbs the water vapor, causing the sheet to buckle and curl. It eventually flips over and that side rapidly expels its water molecules while the other side soaks them up. These antics translate into the continuous motion you see. But all this motion isn't just for show. The MIT team attached a substance called a piezoelectric and some wires to the polymer. And that piezoelectric helped the researchers convert the mechanical energy of the polymer's movements into electrical energy that they directed into a circuit. Doing this, the researchers were able to harvest 5.6 nanowatts of electrical power from the device. That's orders of magnitude less than what it might take to charge a cell phone, but the team is hopeful that they can make the material's energy conversion more efficient, and one day even use it to power nanoscale electronics or even internal blood pressure sensors. In the meantime, maybe our friend the fish might tell the researchers what the future holds. This is Lauren Wolf reporting for Chemical and Engineering News.